Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Bakri of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. The year has started and there are many expectations that we have. And I believe that this is our year for divine expansion where God wants to expand us beyond our coast. Our boundaries that we have set for ourselves are even too small for what God is about to do. I'm living an expectation. I'm living with an expectant heart, an expectant attitude. And as a result of that, there are certain commitments and there are certain structural or there are certain adjustments that I have to do. Well, we're still on the roll with, with Rahab. Joshua chapter 6, verse 1 to 19. The story of a prostitute who found her way or who wormed her way into, into um, uh, God's hall of fame in Hebrews chapter 11. Rahab the harlot, who has had room for an all sides for all men. And all of a sudden she said, now I need to find room for God. Now there are principles that Rahab brings to us. And those principles are profound and powerful. And if we follow those principles, I'm sure our year will be a very exciting year. Now, um, this morning, I'd like to capture my, my thoughts with the words, faith with people. Faith with people. You know, trust is never exacted. Trust is end. Nobody has a right to demand trust from you. And nobody should say that, uh, trust me, trust me. No. That person must end your trust by a series of decisions and a series of actions the person takes or makes, makes or takes, respectively. So, now Rahab, the Bible says the two spies have gone to uh, Rahab. And when they went to Rahab, the Bible says Rahab hid them in the stalks of flax. And Rahab, Rahab protected them. Now, Rahab made a covenant to them. And the most powerful thing, Rahab kept them from harm. Rahab kept faith with them. Rahab kept her word with them. What well, Rahab promised, she delivered. Rahab kept promise with them. Sometimes it's, it's a little bit saddening. You see people make promises and never keep faith with other people. I've seen people, I mean, I've seen politicians promise heaven and deliver hell. I've seen politicians promise things that, I mean, they never deliver at all. And sometimes they leave the people in a worse state than the, which they found them. But if you want to see what God, if you want to see the, the glory of God and you want to see things powerfully from God, then you have to learn to keep faith with people. What you say, be a man of your word. Be a woman of your word. If you make a promise, keep the promise. Sometimes keeping promises is inconvenient, just like Rahab. In trying to keep faith with the people of, uh, of Israel, the two spies, she endangered her life. Because if the king had found out, the king would have just wiped her out, exterminated her like vermin. But the Bible says she kept faith with them. And because she kept faith with them, the people kept faith with her. And God also kept faith with her by making her womb a receptacle of divine seed. That one day, out of a line is going to come the Christ, Jesus the Savior. Learning to keep faith with people sometimes is inconvenient because a promise may have been made and that promise, keeping that promise might be very difficult, but keep faith with people. In this year that is coming, one of the things that I've learned and something that will help push you, number one, keep faith with God. Number two, keep faith with people. Number three, keep faith with yourself. Keep your word. Keep your word on the resolutions that you've made. Keep your word on the promises you made to God. And keep your word on the promises you made to people. Keep faith with people. Rahab kept faith with people. And as a result of that, the people also kept faith with her by protecting her and her family. And God kept faith with her. By not just delivering her out there, but making her womb a receptacle for the glorious event 
of the incoming Christ. He kept faith. Are you a man? When you make a promise, people will say, well, this is a promise. It won't happen. You can't ask people to trust you unless you learn to keep faith with what you say. And how sad it is. When we're in trouble, we'll make every promise to God. And when the storm is over, we don't keep faith in God. How many times do we walk into the, into the sanctuary and make promises of financial um, contributions or financial lessons to God? And one way or the other, when the storm is over, we forget. Learning to keep faith with God, keeping faith with people, and keeping faith with yourself is a strength of character. It's a test of strength of character. And sometimes you might be very surprised. You will say some things, people will say, okay. But truthfully in their hearts, they don't believe you. And because they know you will never keep your word. Keep faith with people. That's one of the surest ways to see great moves of God in your life. Keep faith with Him. It's a choice you have to make to keep faith with people and with God and yourself. See you later.